Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, we'll be going over the best PC builds you can build right now with the Black Friday sales. That is right. You might be looking to get yourselves a new PC upgrade for Christmas or just maybe something right now to treat yourself with, which I completely get. And that's why today I have five different price point PCs, one for $600, $800, $1,000, and up to $2,500. And then the finally, $5,000 are technically only the best for people who are interested in that. I want to go over each one of these builds with the Black Friday sales and why I picked them. And honestly, they're really good, so you might want to build them for yourself. So the first build we got is our $600 PC build. Now, keep in mind, if you're building with $600 during this Christmas, there are actually some really great deals for AM4, especially in the CPU market. So for our actual PC build right here, we have the Ryzen 5 56X. So this is a six core 12 thread CPU that does actually come with a cooler included. So you will not have to buy a separate cooler. So the good thing about the cooler is since this CPU only has 65 TDP, it's not going to get that hot. So the stock cooler that comes with it will be more than enough to actually do it. And this is just going to be a great CPU just for purely gaming. And then since it's on AM4, you can upgrade later here to a better CPU. And if you truly want to, you can spend a little bit more money instead of spending like $105, which with the Black Friday sales kind of ridiculous for a six core cpu you can actually get yourself a better cpu of eight cores for 130 dollars which is the 57x so keep in mind though if you do get this cpu it doesn't come with an included cooler so you will have to buy one but of course the tdp on this one isn't a whole lot so i would recommend just spending like 20 bucks and buying a cooler master uh 120 i know it's 120 it's 1212 actual cooler so that'll be good so you have two different upgrades for this actual cooler and also cpu uh but the important thing to keep in mind is that since it's on aim 4 aim 4 stuff is really cheap right now so you could honestly max this out later down the line to a 16 core or even 12 core cpu but for the motherboard we got ourselves is actually the uh, b550m for elite and of course for some reason it's out of stock right now which is fantastic this literally was on sale for like 89 dollars and now it's out of stock my timing is impeccable well, whatever it's not the worst thing in the world instead we'll just go with the gigabyte b450m actual micro atx board so we are going with a micro atx built just because for one it's gonna be cheaper and two you can't always upgrade it later to something else especially with the case since we have the monotech uh, a100 ARGB actual PC case. This is 60 bucks, but it's a PC case that gets the job done. It has a little bit of RGB. And if you're interested in that, that's awesome. I did like a full case review on that. I will have that linked at the end if you are interested or in the description area. Uh, but the case is fantastic. You got a nice 850 watt power supply for $90. So you can upgrade later the GPU if you want to. For the GPU, we win with AMD. And a lot of the GPUs right now are going up in price just because they aren't producing the 4080 anymore the 4090 so it's leading other gpus to get bought out so the, of course the more demand there is and the less the quantity of products you have in stock the more prices are going to go up and i think that's especially going to be the case until the 5090 comes out we are supposed to get battle mage but i don't think it's going to be that good to be honest with you i'm setting my expectations low for battle mage maybe it'll be insane but who knows of course this is a gpu the 6600 xt from amd i actually have tested this gpu it's great for getting over 100 fps in all double triple a titles uh and if you set on low settings get over 150 so that's the gpu one terabyte to storage of course you can't go any lower than that nowadays because every game seems to cost like two to 300 gigs which is ridiculous 32 gigabytes of ddr4 which is being 631 dollars so yeah if you went with the 56 you of course can save like 100 bucks on this or 70 dollars at least so ultimately this is a very good entry build for gaming and it'll get the job done for pretty much anything you want to play on medium to low settings now for an 800 dollars build what i would recommend is this pc build right here first of all our cpu is the ryzen 5 7600 cpu so this is am5 platform so you have a long upgrade plan up until 2027 i think that's when uh am5 is not gonna get any more stuff but i think you'll be set until then and of course there's a lot of great stuff right now on am5 especially on am4 so you can honestly go with either one depending on what you want me personally if i was looking to build a new pc this uh year i'd probably go for this one just because of the fact the longevity of it will be much nicer uh so we got of course the six core 12 thread cpu does come with a stock cooler so you not need to buy one because the tdp on this is only 65 watts meaning it's not going to get too hot now for the motherboard we got the msi b4 uh, 650m performance so it does have an m.2 slot 
has a nice little 16 byte slot. We got 32 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz memory for DDR5, one terabyte of storage, and actual GPU is slightly better than the one from a $600 build. It is an AMD GPU because there really isn't any good NVIDIA GPUs for a budget build right now. You could go with the 3060 or 4060 if you really want to spend an additional like $200. Uh, but if you don't want to break the bank, you want to stay around this $800 mark, you will probably have to go with AMD at the end of the day. Unless you can find something on Facebook for significantly less because you can't find some good 3070 deals. But I don't count those because they're just too inconsistent. Uh, so this is the GPU. We got the 6650X. This is a slightly better version of the actual 66 uh rx uh so it's gonna be great for gaming of course can hit over 100 fps on this more consistently than the other one uh we got a nice lean lee case this one doesn't come off a back fan so it comes with two nice i think 120 or 140 millimeter fans i have to double check uh but this case can be awesome and of course can get a fan pack for five additional arctic fans for 33 dollars. so yeah you got a lot of cooling with this if you add this to your build if you don't want to buy this you don't have to i would recommend just buying at least one fan for like 10 bucks you can find some good stuff and then additionally we also got ourselves a 750 watt power supply for the msi mag a 750 gl from msi they got their own power supplies which i have never noticed that but now they have some good deals for them so i'm like okay that's sick and this only costs us 850 dollars now if you want a pc build that will pretty much crush every single thing for a thousand dollars well i got this pc build right here for you first of all we got the ryzen 7 77x the cpu is going to be great for gaming can do some multitasking we'll be able to get the job done we have a thermal take uh actual freezing which is their io for 55 dollars for a 360 rad which is absolutely insane it isn't the fanciest thing in the world but if it gets the job done it gets the job done at the end of the day uh we also got ourselves a b650 board from gigabyte so this one's gonna be great because one of two very three things first of all as a gen 5 lane so if you want to add a gen 5 drive you can i wouldn't really recommend it though there's not many benefits to doing it uh, i'm not gonna go too in depth because that would get into an hour rant of why gen 5 is not as good as gen 4 but you of course got additional two gen 4 lanes and multiple 16 by slots so if you want to add some capture cards expansion cards or a 10 gigabit uh network card you're going to absolutely do so with this board this board has a lot of upgrade potential with it especially since it's on am5 too you can max out the cp later to like the top of the line stuff so it's absolutely fantastic for it we got 32 gigabytes of ddr uh 5 memory with over 6,000 megahertz, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 6,000. It's kind of hard to see. My mic's kind of in the way. And then we got the Crucial P3, one terabyte. We also got ourselves access to the 4060 a gig model. I was debating whether or not to throw a 4060 or a, was it, RX 6. Uh, I just decided with the 4070 or 4060 just because uh, if you plan to actually like game and stream, I would go NVIDIA. But if you are looking for like just pure gaming performance, I would go with the RX uh, 7600. And then we also got a nice PC case from the Monotex XR. This PC case is so freaking clean. I built in it recently. I got the white version instead of the black version, but still 10 out of 10 I can recommend. And we additionally got a 750 watt power supply. So if you want to upgrade anything down the line, you will have enough water to actually do so. Now let's just say you want to spend $2,500 and you want the best of the best currently. Now I will go over a few things. First of all, you won't be able to get a 4090 for like $2,500 right now because the 4090 has jumped in price. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, if I'm going to spend already like $2,000 on a GPU, why not just max it out and go to the 4090, right? Well, the problem with the 4090, it's around $3,000 right now, with the $4,000 depending on where you get it. So yeah, the 4090 is actually scuffed in pricing right now. The, what is it? The 4080 is pretty scuffed, but I wouldn't say it's as bad. So what we got here is of course the newest CPU from Ryzen, the Ryzen 98X 3D. This is the best gaming CPU on the market right now that you can get. You can crush absolutely everything for multi-workloads, for just video editing, gaming, you'll be able to do anything you want. Plus we got the best cooler on the market in my personal opinion, the Arctic Liquid Cooler 360 Rad. This thing is an absolute beast for cooling CPUs. And on top of that, we got ourselves 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, 64 megahertz with CL latency at 32. Uh, so yeah, you got enough memory to crush anything. Two terabytes of storage and also a nice 4080, as I said earlier, for 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you want to do gaming, streaming, you have enough VRAM to actually do that. Plus in the memory, if you want to replay buffer on top of it too, for like a stupid amount of things, you can do it. And we also got the Molentech XR case again, just because it's an absolute amazing case. Now, additionally, we also threw something special on there. We threw a 1,200 watt power supply. Now you might be wondering, why the hell did we add that? Well, for two different reasons. First of all, 
50 series is coming down the line so if you build this right now you will have a power supply that's more than overkill enough to upgrade it anything down the line especially the 49 oh, not 49 the 5090 which is gonna have like a 600 watt tdp so you have an additional like 600 watts for that actual gpu because you can see right now it's like 597 watts for this build so you will be chilling for the time being so this is what i would recommend anyone who's building around this price point of course this motherboard is still the same way i was recommended earlier just because of the fact there isn't really good motherboards that have all the benefits and bells and whistles as this one without spending like a stupid amount now let's just say you want the best of the best you do not care about the price you don't mind spending a 5k on this well i got yourself the best pc you can build currently on the market now i will say one thing i wish a different cpu was on the market that hasn't been released yet which is the 9950x 3d supposedly we're arguing that which is a 16 core uh 32 thread cpu of uh, 3d vcash but the only one you can buy right now is the 9950x so you can see where that's a problem so what we got is the ryzen 9 7950x 3d which is gonna be fantastic for crushing video editing gameplay or just pretty much anything you can run anything you want on this pc and additionally with that 360 you're at it's of course gonna keep it cool we also got the asus pro x 87e motherboard now you might be wondering if the motherboard we talked about earlier was so good why is this one so much better well this pc if you're spending this amount of money on this you are building it for work you are building it for yourself for work to use and actually this is the pc i plan to be used for my next personal build and this motherboard crushes because not only does it have one 16 by slot it has two full 16 by slots an additional by four slot down here so yeah you can add a stupid amount of stuff and what makes this even better is just because of the fact that the io is ridiculous you have one two three four five six seven usb 3.2 ports you have three usb uh type c ports and of course they do have different bandwidths for each one of them and then you also have a 10 gig lan also a 2.5 so yeah you do not need to buy like a network card for 10 gig you literally just have it built on board plus some other io stuff for all the nice stuff you want but the motherboard is where you're looking at if you are doing professional grade work you need that extra io you need an extra bandwidth you need that extra 10 gig speeds this board is just absolutely insane but of course it's coming out of price which is like 48 dollars meaning 408 dollars but don't mind this build you don't mind this build 128 gigabytes of ram we only went uh 56 megahertz just because ram can be really unstable with higher amounts of it so i'm not really worried about this because one you're probably not going to use this for gaming you're pretty much going to use this for work if you want to use this gaming it's not going to have any issues down the line whatsoever you'll be chilling you can't even switch this from actual 128 gigabytes to 96 gigabytes of ram and then just switch out the frequency of them so we look up like 96 gigabytes of memory we can see we've got this one from actual uh, g scale for around 68 megahertz so you can get some higher frequency memory if you want to switch out the the quantity of your ram i'd rather have more ram capacity than speed ultimately it's up to you what you want to do we also got ourselves a samsung 990 pro 4 terabyte nvme drive so that's gonna be your boot drive you'll be chilling you won't have to worry about storage you can add more later because this board not only has one m.2 slot it has several of them it has one two three four and about two lanes so yeah i would recommend just placing all gen 4 drives don't place any gen 5 drives because you're going to waste your pcie lanes for your motherboard for your especially your pcie slots so if you do you use a lot of pci expansion cards you don't want to use gen 5 drops to say the very least then on top of that we got the nvidia 4090 video card now i will be honest with you guys if the 5090 was out right now i put that on here instead just because of the fact that if you are looking to build the best the best pc i would say buy all the components besides the gpu and just use the gpu you're currently using as a temporary placeholder until the 5090 comes out i actually had a friend who built this exact pc because i told him hey this is what i'm gonna build he's like shit this thing looks like a beast i just bought everything i'm like this guy's killing me but he was talking about like should i wait till the 5090 comes out and just use what i currently have and i'm like yes because you have a GPU on hand, just use it temporarily as a placeholder because it's already doing a job, it won't particularly matter. And if you want to upgrade it later to the 5090 when it comes out, you can absolutely do so because if you are already able to spend 5K on this PC, you can hold off until a new card comes out and just spend 24 on this, then another 24 on the actual like GPU. So yeah, we also got the same power supplies earlier. We got ourselves the 120 watt from Be Quiet, which is just insane. And also we got a Okinos actual wood PC case. Now you could go with a Monotech Kang PC case, but I went with this one just because it got a professional look to it. I also reviewed it recently. I can definitely say this case is like 
very, very clean and very professional looking. Uh, so I plan actually pretty little than this, particularly myself when I build this PC. So if you guys do want to see a video on that, let me know by smashing that like button. Now I got some additional PC builds that are kind of just the theme based. We got a white PC build here that has a nice CPU for a six core, comes with actually the Assassin King white cooler. Now the 76 CPU does come with a stock cooler, but honestly, just buy this cooler instead and you're chilling. And of course it was on sale for like $19. And of course, frick, it sold out again. Ah, why is all the stuff I find that so good sells out so fast, it kills me. Okay, I found another one from uh, Thermal Tech, but it's not as clean as the other one, but I'll get the job one because there's not many nice ones. This one's gonna cost 21, but whatever. If you are building a white theme, theme PC, this is what I build. Get yourselves a nice cooler. This motherboard, the ice one. You can buy a better, cleaner one for like 270, but honestly not worth. We got some nice white RAM. We also got ourselves a Gen 4 drive for one terabyte. Keep in mind, this board does actually have a cooler design, so you can place a Gen 5, uh, Gen 4 drive under here, and they won't see the black actual uh, NVMe drive, so your shell won't stand out, so just in case you're wondering. We also got the Monotech XR PC case in white. This thing is super clean. I love it. It sold out, looks like, in some places, but it's it's insane. Plus, we got some nice cable expansions from Okinos. Of course, I didn't even realize they made them, but hey, I added them without even realizing, so that's cool. Uh, and on top of that, if you really want to, you have two different options for your GPU. You can go with the ASUS in white 4070 or 4060, depending on which one you want. I just picked this anime waifu one just because of the fact that it's a good price point. Also looks clean. The RGB is subtle and I plan to use this for my next like main PC build for a video. So if you want to see a video using this GPU, let me know by smashing that like button. Uh, but the other white theme PC build is using the 77, has a Arctic 360 rad for the IO. Of course, this is a white one too, which looks super clean. We also got that motherboard I was talking about earlier here, the Gigabyte X87E, which is ice, which is completely white, even the PCIe slots. On top of that, we got a nice one terabyte drive. Of course, you won't be able to see it. 32, 32 gigabytes of Crucial Vengeance, a nice 4070 actual GPU. So this thing will be amazing and it's in white and the Monotech XR again and a 700 watt power supply. Uh, you can switch this though to a Be Quiet one. I just kind of placed this in here just because yeah, I was deciding this to be quiet for this and I just went with that. But of course, those are the PCs for different price points that I think are personally the best with the budget you can do. If you guys enjoyed this video here today, let me know by smash the like button. If you guys want to see another video like this, this that will let me know that way. If we hit over 50 likes, I will do another one next year. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to get subscribed to send me some future tech content here because later we got that ultimate PC build we're gonna doing with the of course the 4090. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll see you on Tech Grant out.